Hi, this is Kay of Clever Someday, and today I'm going to show you how you can get and use a couple dozen free single line fonts. These are perfect for drawing with your silhouette machine, and that includes regular pens, the foil quill, Cricut infusible pens. They also work well with an etching tool, and they are perfect for rhinestone designs because they are true single line or open path fonts that do not write an outline or double back on themselves. And some of them are based on your favorite fonts like Alex Brush, Mountains of Christmas, and Sacramento, to name a few. To download the fonts, you're going to go to a GitLab link I will include in the description of this video. GitLab can be a little confusing, but you just want to click the little cloud in the upper right to download the folder called EMS. That stands for Evil Mad Scientist, the company that is providing the fonts for free. You also need to download and install FontLab Pad if you don't have it already. This is a free utility from a font software company called FontLab. And you go to this page, which I'll also include in the description, enter your email address. They'll send you the download link and you can get the one you need for either Mac or Windows. Follow the installation instructions to add it to your computer. So let's look at FontLab Pad. The great thing about FontLab Pad is that you can use it with fonts without installing them. All you do is drag and drop the font onto the window, or you can go to File, Open, and choose any uninstalled font. Or if you want to use a font that you have installed, you go to File, Open, Installed. I've already done that, and Lavenderia Sturdy was the last font I used here. So I'm just going to type my sentiment. I'm going to use Happy Birthday. And I've unzipped the file with the EMS fonts. I'm going to bring it over here. And now all I'm going to do is drag and drop one onto the window. And you'll see the font change to something kind of ugly. This is because FontLab Pad can't display a single line font properly, so it fills in the best it can. So you either want to type carefully, or you want to type in another font first, like we did here, so that you can make sure you don't have any typos. So we can keep doing that, dragging and dropping them to see what they look like. So then we're going to go to this little button in the upper right and click Save As. And we're going to choose SVG from the pull down. And we're going to type in our name. Happy Birthday Brush. I'm going to put this in my Downloads folder. And click Save. Now it's easy to get confused here because the SVG we are putting in is an SVG font. This is a specialized file type that doesn't work in most software, but it does work in FontLab Pad. The SVG file we're getting out is a regular SVG like you're used to using in Silhouette Studio Designer Edition or Cricut Design Space. So when we go to Silhouette Studio, all we need to do is drag and drop the file that we just made onto our mat, and now we have our sentiment in single line format. So before we go, I want to show you the difference between an open path font and a regular font. Here I have Alex Brush, one of my longtime favorites. This is what it looks like printed or cut out, but when I change it to no fill, you can see what it will look like when I draw it with a pen. It'll draw the outline and leave the middle of the letters empty. This is the single line font based on the same font, and you can see that it writes an open path. You can even see the red dots where the open paths are. And that's why we like to use these open path fonts with pens, because it looks more like the way we write by hand. And for foil, it won't double up and cause your foil to dull on you. So I hope you find this helpful. And if so, be sure to give me a like and a follow. Thanks for watching.